this video how to do uh, Euler's method on the Casio CG50 uh, instead of doing like the whole table by hand so over here we're given a question highlighted in yellow the the, it's, we're basically given the differential equation the initial condition when x is equal to 1 we know that its solution uh, the solution of the differential equation is y equal to 2 uh, the step size is 0 0.1 and we want to approximate the value of y when x is equal to 1.4 okay so how do we do that on the calculator without going through the hassle of doing the whole uh, table by hand so over here we have an option uh, uh, which is called recursion okay so if we press 8 it will open this recursion okay so the recursion is basically relating previous values with uh, current ones it's you're basically setting the relationship between everything and it will calculate everything for you okay so <clears throat> first thing we know we know that it's always the case that uh, uh, the, the, uh, the a will represent the value of x and b will represent the value of y okay so we are trying to relate the next uh, y value and x value with the previous one so over here we're having a sub n plus one this means we are on the second x value so well, how does this relate with the previous x value we know that the step size is equal to 0 0.1 so we basically here we want to say that a sub n plus one is equal to a sub n plus 0 0.1 so how do we uh, say a sub n over here you'll find uh, a tab under uh, just above f4 called n a n okay so if you press that you will find all of the variables that we are going to be using to set the relationships so we will choose a n okay plus 0 0.1 so this means that any x value is equal to the previous x value plus 0 0.1 now let's come to the y value for the y value we know we are going to be using Euler's formula so we know in Euler's formula that any y value is equal to the previous y value plus h multiplied by the differential equation okay so this is exactly what we are going to do so over here we're going to be again press f4 okay and we will say that b sub n plus 1 is basically bn which is uh, sorry it's bn which is basically the previous y value plus h which is 0 0.1 multiplied by the differential uh, uh, equation so over here we know that the differential equation is all of that and of course we're not we're, we're not going to be pressing x's and y's now we know that the x is represented by a sub n and the y's are represented by b sub n so we are going to input the equation the exact same way it's given to us okay so over here we're going to be inputting 4 multiplied by a n squared uh, plus b n squared minus a n multiplied by b n okay divided by a n squared okay so this way we we set we we defined what are the x's and y values and how do they behave okay next thing is we are going to go to settings which is f5 okay and we are going to specify uh, uh the, uh, uh the 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 step size or where do we want to go with this okay so we know that to go from x is, e is x is equal to 1 to 1.4 we need to do the calculations or we need five rows of calculations okay so uh or four rows after the first starting point okay so because <clears throat> we're going to be getting the values of uh, uh 1.1 1.2 1.3 and 1.4 so we need to specify that so we are going to to say to the calculator that we are going to start at zero and end at five we need to do this five times and the first value of x is one okay and its corresponding value of y is two okay because a sub zero and b sub zero basically represent the first and uh, the first value of both x and y okay so that's it now we are ready to tell our calculator to show us the values if we press f6 you can find that it calculated everything for you so we know that when x is equal to 1.4 we can approximate the y value its corresponding y value to be 5.3377 so of course this is a much easier way to do euler's method uh, using uh, the gdc instead of using it of instead of doing the whole thing by hand